This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Lettuce collects... Oh, lettuce collect both crops from this row. So I bet there's lettuce and corn. This garden's all mixed up. It has both corn and lettuce. Mm-hmm. Help the harvester pick the items that are ready for harvesting. Each plant will have... Each plant will have either one corn or one lettuce. All right, so this is somewhat similar to the last level, I think. I need to move forward, and each time I do, right, I want to check if there is corn. Ooh, or if there's lettuce. Hmm. So I'm going to check if there's corn each time I move forward. And if there is corn, what would I want to do? Well, I'd want to pick the corn, right? If there is not corn, if I step ahead here, oh, well, there's corn. But if I were to step ahead and, oh, it's grumpy because I need to finish my code. Okay. If I were to step ahead and it says no corn, false, right? I don't pick corn. I skip that line. I drop here and whatever is in else is what I would do instead. It will only run one of these lines. So if there's corn, pick the corn else. So if there's not corn, zoop, what do I want to do? I want to pick lettuce. This is actually not going to work, though. There's going to be a bit of a problem, and I'll show you what I mean. How many times do I want to step forward and check for corn or lettuce? It looks like five. So for me, I think it's, oh, ooh, or we can use wall path ahead. So because at this point, there's no path, and I can stop. At least there shouldn't be. Uh, here. I'm just going to repeat that six times because I know I'm going one, two, three. Yep, six. All right, let's give this a shot. This code does have a problem. I want to show you. Right here, we're going to get an error because the reason it's giving us an error is I stepped forward. I said, okay, is there corn? And she said, no, false. Or the computer said, false. There's no corn. And so what we did then, since this is false, we skip pick corn and we automatically run whatever else is. Pick lettuce. Well, but there's nothing here. So now we have an error because I'm telling her to pick lettuce because I was told no corn, but there is no lettuce. So before I ask to pick lettuce, if there's no corn, I want to check then. Okay, wait. So no corn? We'll now check if there's lettuce. And the reason this should work is because, one, if there is corn, true, yes, there's corn, zoop, I pick lettuce, and I'll always skip the else, because I've already done one of these. You can only either do the up, upper part, or the bottom part. You can never run both of these lines when you're doing, uh, when you're using a conditional statement. So our if statement is either going to pick corn or we're going to check if lettuce, then pick lettuce. If this is true, we will always pick corn. We'll skip the else. We'll hit the bottom and we'll go back around. If this is false, no, there's no corn. We will always skip pick corn. We'll never do that. But now we'll always check if there is lettuce. Let's give it a shot. And this works because when we are on those spots without either crop, it wouldn't matter because we would say if corn and it would be false. Nope, no corn. So we would go down to the else. If there is lettuce, false, no lettuce. So we wouldn't try to pick that either. And we could go back to loop around again. Cool. Let's keep going. 